The frequency, or alternating waveform, of the signal changes based on how fast the signal from the transmitter is output, creating waves with different frequencies. Various frequencies can be used for different purposes. We call a range of different frequencies a spectrum and are divided into areas of specific usage or bands. Frequency is about how many electromagnetic waves pass through a point of reference every second. This is measured by counting the peaks of each wave, which will be measured in units of hertz or cycles per second. Wavelength is the distance measured between the two highest peaks in a wave. This distance is referred to as a period. Wavelengths could be smaller than the size of an atom and longer than the diameter of the planet Earth. Within this electromagnetic band of different frequencies, radio waves have the longest wavelengths and the lowest frequencies, which allows them to travel the farthest. The different spectrum of bands allows FM and AM radio waves, cell phone signals, Wi-Fi signals, and a lot more to share the same space because they are grouped within specific frequency ranges. Some of the specific frequency bands you may be aware of are ELF, or extremely low frequency, with a frequency of 3 to 30 hertz and a wavelength of 105 to 104 kilometers. And VHF, or very high frequency, with a frequency of 30 to 300 megahertz and a wavelength of 10 to 1 meter. And UHF, or ultra high frequency, with a frequency of 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz and a wavelength of 1 meter to 10 centimeters. And just so you know, in the U.S., authorities like the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, or the European Electronic Communications Committee, or ECC, are responsible for assigning frequency ranges for specific usage. An electromagnet signal does not go straight out to a receiver after being transmitted, but radiates the signal in multiple directions. Radio waves can reflect off buildings. They can bend on sharp edges, or even scatter on small objects, and still be able to reach the receiver. During the journey, waves radiated from multiple paths endure different types of attenuation or weakening and delay. The receiving antenna captures all the waves as a combined signal, and when the wave travels more than one route, it is called a multipath channel. This multipath generated combined signal, now distorted and mixed, must be decoded by the receiver to read the data generated. This is not easily accomplished since the received signal contains a lot of unwanted anomalies. So, to make the receiver's job easier, we add some additional steps before transmission. Before sending any data, the transmitting components perform the encoding. The encoding operation appends additional bits into the message, which makes the data recovery at the receiver much simpler. After the encoding, digital data are mapped onto symbols, then modulated by varying the signal amplitude, and then passed to the transmitting antenna.